For almost a decade, really since Enron and WorldCom, American business has been on defense, reacting rather than leading. A recent Gallup poll has found that trust in financial institutions is the lowest since Gallup began asking about trust in 1985. 68% of Americans want major corporations to have less influence than they currently have. In 2001, that figure was 52% versus 68% today. In November, at CED's Washington, D.C. meeting of trustees, we began a discussion about whether the American business community could restore trust and confidence in itself. We find now, almost everywhere, skepticism and distrust of business, markets, and democratic capitalism. It will get better by, by the end of the lunch today. It won't all, be, it won't all be, be gloom. This is just setting the stage. British Prime Minister Gordon Brown has often called for the need to maintain free markets, but not value-free markets. And so how we go about reconciling the importance of values with free market capitalism is, I think, one of the issues that lies at the heart of CED's three reports, and it is certainly a clear focal point of what I hope all of us will be talking about this afternoon. We intend to use today's report, and in fact the entire trilogy of CED reports, to energize dialogue and debate throughout the corporate community around the country. And in doing so, we expect to use CED's most valuable asset, our trustees. And so as we stimulate engagement around the issues, we look forward to partnering with our trustees and with many of you uh, as individuals and the organizations that you're with who are here with us today. Our goal is, quite frankly, to help play a modest role in restoring trust and confidence in American business. And in our view, that trust and confidence are vital to our economic recovery and our long-term economic vitality as a nation. Now, before I, by, by step down and, and we serve uh, the rest of the lunch, I just want to um, make a, uh, recognize a special friend of CED who is, who is here with us this afternoon. That is former Connecticut Congressman Chris Shays. Chris. Um, Chris, when, when I saw that you were going to join us, I realized, uh, it kind of hit me, that ten, 10 years ago next month, uh, actually March 18th, 1999, CED launched its first report on campaign finance reform, and we did that in Washington, D.C., and you were the keynote speaker when we really got into that. And that experience began what I think many of us would consider a, a, a personal as well as a professional friendship between Chris and many CED trustees and staff. Um, for many years at our annual dinner in Washington, at CED, in, in New York, at the, um, at the Waldorf, we have recognized companies for their contributions to corporate citizenship. And some years ago, it occurred to us that not only companies, but also individuals make contributions to public policy in this country. And so we, 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 uh, we created an award. We called it the Excellence in Public Policy Award. We don't give it every year. But the first year we gave that award was in 2000. And we gave it to John McCain, Russ Feingold, Chris Shays, and Marty Meehan, the four horsemen of campaign finance reform. That was a very good beginning. And Chris, on behalf of all of us at CED, we want to thank you for your outstanding public service from the Peace Corps, I think, right through to 20 plus years in Congress. And we want to extend our best wishes to you and Betsy. And we look forward to having you engaged with CED in the months and years ahead. You are, some of us believe quite strongly, the essence of bipartisan lawmaking. And you may not have always endeared yourself to the GOP leadership, but your courage, your integrity, your creativity, and your fierce independence have won you many, many admirers across this country. So Chris, you honor us by being here, and thank you again for your service.